Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with yet another video for the third or fourth or I've lost track unboxing in a row. I thought I would come at you real quick before I head out for soccer camp. I'm going to watch my oldest son play soccer today. So I've got my hair pulled back because it is gonna be a toasty hot one for the day and I'm gonna wear one of my new coach visors or pretty new. I've worn them a couple times and then I've got a backup visor because I need to stretch them out a little bit more. They're still just a tiny bit too tight for me. Anyhow, I thought I would unbox this beauty and share with you some of my plans for her because you guys are not going to believe it. So once again, this is all your fault. It's your fault because I went shopping for you and then I bought stuff for me. What's up with that? Oh my gosh, look guys. Now that is how you package a bag. This is very nice. And I didn't even request gift wrapping, but I feel like it's a gift. I've got the receipt in here. I'm gonna tuck that where I keep all my receipts. And then I am going to open up this beauty, which looks like it's factory wrapped, minus the plastic bag, because it does have the wrapping on the handles. Okay, so I saw this bag when I was with you on the coach shopping trip in Springfield, Missouri. It is the Tyler Curiel 28. It's extremely lightweight. I'm gonna go ahead, unstuff her, unwrap her, try her on for you, and then I'm gonna tell you what I plan to do with this bag. Assuming that everything is a-okay and there's no damages that I am missing. So the Tyler 28 is an all leather bag. It is lined in leather as well as being a pebbled leather exterior. And I wanna say if I remember correctly that the outside is the polished pebbled leather. I don't love how they stuffed the bag because I do feel like that can leave little imprints in the bottom here, but I think that that will be fine. I think that will work itself out and this bag has definitely not even been used or tried on at all because it has everything on it still. All the wrapping, every little bit of it. Oops, I didn't mean to, but I just took off the price tag. They had it wrapped around the tag that was holding on the strap. And I've got to get the strap undone because if I'm going to show you what I think of the bag, i got to show you the strap. This bag comes with a super skinny adjustable strap. And I don't love that personally, but I may just have a few straps in my closet. I'm still pulling wrapping out of this bag. Okay, so there is a little bit of fabric lining and it's right in the very middle, in the middle compartment. But as you can see, it's fully leather lined on the side and has this pocket, which again has a little bit of fabric right on the inside of it. The tag says that it was originally 295 which means that as part of the 50% off sale that it was 147.50 i think that the interior of this bag is oxblood maybe the new oxblood i'm going to go ahead and put the skinny little strap on and try her on for you when i was in the store i tried her on just on my arm if you remember right so this is really cute just like this but i want to try her on with some different straps so let's give it a go so I obviously think this strap is better with this bag. It is a very cute grommeted strap from my Marley 20 bags. So that's option number one. If I wanted to make the bag a little less dressy, I could put it with something like this. This is the strap I got from Amazon and it was probably less than $15. I really like it with my Rose Dust Marc Jacobs the tote bag, but for me, this is the kind of strap this bag needs. A wide, really nice canvas strap because it makes it where it fits my lifestyle better because I'm not a businesswoman. I am a stay-at-home mom. As far as coach novelty straps go, I have endless options, it seems, with black. And so this signature strap would look excellent with this bag as well for a look that's halfway between casual and dressy. This signature strap came with dark hardware but I was able to snag the dog leash clips from another novelty strap so that it goes with this bag beautifully. That's just a tip. 
you can see that it still has the dark hardware where the adjustable part is, but I think it coordinates very well. Here is the infamous strap with chain. This is the one that comes with a little Rexy dangling from it. I used the Rexy on another bag, but I think this one looks great with this bag as well. You can still find these on the resale market. This is a strap from the artist collaboration that the outlet did with K Facet. It has a beautiful floral print on it, and it's a fun way to dress a black bag up as well. I also have a couple of the Marc Jacobs web straps. This is one of them. And I think that is definitely a classy look. And I like how the reddish colored spots on this strap coordinate with the interior of the bag. I could also do a camouflage strap with this tote bag. I think that this looks really cute. I seriously have so many different strap options. I don't know what to choose from. This is the last one I'm gonna show you today. This one is actually in the oxblood color, so it matches the lining. Okay, so you see here, this matches the lining perfectly. So I think this is the old oxblood color. The bag has two handles, which make it perfect to carry on the crook of your arm. It also comes with this little charm. They used to have these on the Dreamer bags, and I think it's a nice touch, as well as the hang tag. The edges aren't glazed, they're rolled leather, which is actually nicer than glazing because it's more durable, it's not gonna melt on you or peel. And then the bag also has feet with the strips in between it, like the Rogues do. The strips are considered basically an elevation from just having the four feet by themselves. So this is a really nice bag. I like it. I'm considering doing a customization and I'm gonna pop a picture of what I'm thinking about in the video right here. This customization that I'm showing you is on the Tyler Carryall, the larger size of this bag. So you'd have to imagine it with the flowers being closer together, but I am considering doing eight flowers because if you are a coach insider, you can get free customization up to twice per year, up to $125. And doing about eight tea roses is around $120. So if I do that, I will basically be making this bag, which retails for $295 retail for $120 more than that, and I will still have only paid $147.50 plus tax. So let me know if you think I should do that. I'm really thinking the answer is yes. I'm Erin and I'm the Handbag Housewife. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, ring my bell, that way you won't be missing upcoming content such as this. Also, you can find me on Instagram under the same name. It's the Handbag Housewife. You can put the ad symbol in front of it in the search bar and you will find me. You can DM me there and you can also reach me by email at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, you can expect to see me again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.